Hello and welcome to Cubbies TV. And today we're going to be tackling a subject that is of interest to a lot of people these days, investing in marijuana stocks. We're going to go to a career expert and find out his opinion on uh, how to invest in marijuana stocks today. So we're going to be talking to Alan Brockstein. Now, Alan, what can you tell us about investing in marijuana stocks and publicly traded companies? Sure. Okay. Well, you, know, you and I became friends earlier this year, and uh, that was kind of near a bubble in the sector. And I was very public about my views that there were a lot of bad companies in the sector and a lot of a ton of bad prices. And you know, here we are eight months later and the prices are a lot lower. And I'm so excited, actually, uh, for a couple of reasons that I started a, uh, a website focused solely on cannabis stocks, 420 Investor. And we can talk about that more later. But to answer your question, uh, I think not only have the prices come down, which is always better, but the opportunities have become more apparent. And that's what gave me the confidence to start what I'm doing. And basically, uh, you know, you had huge news this summer between uh, Sanjay Gupta from CNN reverse, reversing his long-held views on medical marijuana. And then we saw the Department of Justice kind of uh, take a, a hands-off approach publicly uh, for Washington and Colorado. And this really sets us up for a lot more states, uh, thankfully. I know you'll, you're in favor of that. Coming on board... Uh, following, hopefully fast followers, to what goes on in Washington and Colorado. So I, I think this is a great time. I think you can't just buy blind, blindly, Steve. There's still some companies I have a lot of questions about, but I'm finding some, some good ideas, actually. So, you know, uh, the, the stock exchange started out as a pretty seedy affair. It was kind of like a, like a, a, a race course, uh, horse races. Never mind. Let, let's just stay away from okay. that. So what stocks do you like in the marijuana? Okay, so I'm following 17. Let me, let me ask that question again. Okay. So what stocks do you like? So right now in the sector, I'm following 17 companies with market caps that I calculate to be above, seven, uh, above 10 million. So of these 17 stocks, and we can talk more about the ones I don't like, and, and believe me, it's easier to identify those. Uh, but there are a few that I like. We started doing some, I call it the toe in the water portfolio at 420 Investor. I'm not saying these are necessarily long-term buys forever. It's not buy and hold. It's very speculative. But uh, I've, I have a few companies right now that uh, I recommend kind of a trading buy on. And those would be, we just took, the best one in the sector is GW Pharma. We actually just uh, bought and sold that one recently. And I'm looking to get back in. We can talk more about that company. That's that's really the best company in the sector by far. But the other three that where we have positions right now, uh, and I, I, I like them all right now, uh, first would be Grow Life. The symbol is P-H-O-T, and we can talk more about why if you want, but I'll just give you the names first. The second one would be uh, TerraTech, symbol T-R-T-C, and then the third one would be uh, Medical Marijuana, Inc., and I know that one might be controversial. People watching this might say, huh? Because I was... Yeah, I had some real issues there, and I still have some. They can do a, a better job, but uh, that's really a, a pure play CBD story right now. And with all the attention that CBD is getting and what I've been reading, and I know you've known this for years, uh, they actually have a real shot at, at, at being a big company right now. So those are, those are the ones I like right now. Steve. And uh, tell us a little more about why you like each of those stocks. Sure. So just going in the order I gave them. Let's start with GW, where we just just yesterday we bought it at uh, the low 25s and we sold it at 30.38. So it's a uh, one week 20% gain. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. My goal is to for people who want to do it to be able to afford my subscription, which is only $22 a month anyway. But GW Pharma and I just got off the phone with the CEO. They're based in London. They've been at this since 1999. A real science company with approved products on the market overseas. They're at the FDA. They're doing clinical trials right now uh, for can advanced cancer pain, but they're also working on it for MS spasticity. Uh, those, those are late stage. Uh, so they have two shots on goal. Uh, I think by my estimate, they could be on the market in the United States in 2016, which that's not that far away. And 
this is, I mean, it's unbelievable. I don't know if you know much about the science, but it's a, it's an awesome story. It was kind of funny. They, they, they've languished. Their stock has not been appreciated over in London where they're based in the summer. Actually in May, they did a 3.5. It actually was upsized to 3.7 million share offering in the United States. And the stock just sat there for $9. Each of those shares is the equivalent of buying 12 of the London shares. And it started to do a little bit better kind of after the Gupta reversal, but it just took off uh, last week uh, when a analyst came out. Now, remember, this IPO was around $9 a share. The stock was trading around 15 or something. And someone came out, uh, Lazard is the company, and they said the stocks were 65 and the stock like up 100% in, in the next day or two. So I think this is a great long-term story. It's, it's hard to figure out what biotechs are worth. This is a, a biotech, but uh, I had a conversation with the CEO today. They have a much better understanding. It's not a one-trick pony. They have some other things that they're working on for epilepsy and diabetes, brain cancer also. And it's not just about their one product, which is Sativex, which is a spray, uh, 2.5 milligrams of CBD and THC. Uh, these other, they have pill form to treat uh hopefully to treat diabetes and epilepsy. And, you know, I, I know you understand the promise there. So that's the first one. That wasn't too long of an answer. Uh, the second one, Grow Life. And this one attracted me because I really like the CEO. He, he has a, a, a legal background, uh, comes from, from the East Coast, Washington, D.C., very good background, and, and he's a very ethical person. And what I like about the story, the stock is trading at about six cents. It's a little bit below if you were to say the worst case, what's the most amount of shares that are outstanding right now, you're talking about a $45 million market cap, which is really low compared to most of the stocks in the sector. And so they have seven stores right now, uh, and they also have uh, an online presence. And these physical stores and online presence, people think all they do is sell equipment to, to growers, uh, uh, but it's a lot more than that. And I think they, they're going to do a better job at telling people about all the different things that they sell and they announced, I think it's revolutionary, and the stock has done nothing, but uh, on Monday, they announced a program called GIFT. I think it stands for, oh, I forget what it stands for, I'm sorry, but, but let me explain what it is. They are entering into a program with growers uh, in uh, Washington, Colorado, and soon other states where they will lease them for five years equipment in exchange for sole source uh, for all these other supplies. So they're, they're partnering with growers in these states. It's a leveraged play. But on top of that, they're offering warrants uh, at a slight discount to the current market in exchange for a piece of the revenue. To my knowledge, this is the first time a company can say, we are going to directly benefit from, uh, from THC sales. So uh, I think it's really exciting. I was excited about it before this news. To me, this is revolutionary. This is what people have been waiting for. But Basically, it's a picks and shovels company. Uh, for whatever reason, it just doesn't have, maybe it's the name, the symbol, if it was pot instead of pot. I don't know. But that, that's uh, kind of my view there. Good guy running it. Uh, nice picks and shovel model. And now they're the first ones to say, we really touch the real thing. Uh, Terratech, uh, I'll, I'll be shorter on that one. That's uh, a call option in my view. They are a company that used to sell equipment. I don't think it's that material. They sell some equipment. They're not a huge player. What they have done is they bought an organic produce story, uh, organic produce company, and they're growing organic produce with the potential to convert those into cannabis sales. The guy running it, Derek Peterson, he has a financial background like me, but he also knows the industry very well. He owns a dispensary uh, in California. So, and I've talked to him, they're laying the groundwork. It's probably a couple of years away. They came out with a press release yesterday, makes it real clear that this could happen soon. It's, it's not tomorrow, but it's not a decade from now. And so that's more of a call option. The, com the stock is trading at seven cents. Worst case, there's 210 million shares roughly. That's $14 million. That's a cheap call option. Uh, if you think about what their facility in New Jersey to get for selling uh, cannabis, uh, they, it's worth way more than that. The last one, uh, probably your audience will know the most about, and that's Medical Marijuana Inc. And they're based in San Diego. And people know them probably because of their affiliation with Dixie uh, in, in Colorado. But that's, that's not the story at all. The story there is it's a pure play CBD company. And they weren't doing a good job of marketing their products. They didn't have that many products. 
they have really reorganized, and I think they're doing an exceptional job. And it, it's, a, you know, working in their favor, they have better marketing, and they also have, and I'm sure you're aware of this, the CBD prices are going to come down. If we get domestic hemp uh, approved, which we're in the process of doing state by state, but as that happens, they'll, they'll lower their cost of production. And there's, there's other reasons, uh, just through the technology. I think that's a big barrier for CBD right now. The, their products are, unless you really understand them, you have to go figure it out that it works for you and be willing to pay the price. It's not the kind of thing that you're necessarily, why pay a premium for this skin, skin salve over other hemp? People don't understand that, but they are getting the word out. The prices will come down and they're doing a much better job. So, uh, you know, we could talk about Canavest, which they own. You do the math on that. It's kind of a weird stock, but just their investment in Canavest would more than justify, if you believe the cannabis price, which I don't, by the way, but if you did, you would say, wow, you can buy cannabis by buying Medical Marijuana Inc. and, and get all the rest for free. Well, Alan, I think that about does it for us for time. Uh, but wow, you've really done an outstanding job of covering some pretty uh, wild territory. Uh, once again, uh, how do people get a hold of your service and your website? Sure. Well, we just launched a month ago. We just had our one month anniversary. Uh, the service is called 420 Investor, and the, the website is www.420investor.com. The number 420investor.com. Uh, as I said, it's just $22 a month. We're getting fantastic feedback. The, the people love it. We have a chat room. People are in there talking it up. They comment. Uh, the technology is about to be upgraded. We're going to have direct messaging. So this allows people uh, you know, who are members to communicate directly with each other. And you know, I, I like this. You know this is new to me. It was really February that I kind of opened my eyes to this whole thing, even though I've been a lifelong supporter of uh, legalization. Uh, learned a lot about the medical side, learned a lot about uh, some of these companies. But there's people much smarter than me, and they have been joining us. We've had Jamin Shively do a couple of webinars. Uh, I've had a bunch of public company CEOs do exclusive interviews with me. I got somebody like you willing to talk to me. So I'm excited. I'm just the mouthpiece. I, I'm the filter. And I'm really glad to be able to uh, to bring these experts to my subscribers. And I, I appreciate your taking time to talk to me, Steve. Well, I have to tell our audience that I consider you the most knowledgeable, the most honest, and uh, the most uh, courageous <laughs> of the, the journalist covering this uh, business of uh, marijuana uh, stocks and uh, public companies. I appreciate it. I'm glad you, you appreciate what I'm trying to do. And uh, I know we'll, we'll have a lot more to say to each other. So thank you. Well, thank you. Well, that was a great report from Alan Brockstein. And we look forward to uh, speaking with him in the future. This is obviously a whole new uh, investment area that uh, people are following closely and people like Alan are the ones that we can rely upon to give us an uh, honest and balanced opinion. This has been Steve Cubby with Cubby TV. You can catch us on Pot TV and Cannabis Culture website as well as other premium sites. In the meantime, have a 420 day.